Premier Jacinta Allen joining us out of the 8 o'clock news and we'll talk to Limo in a bit. But joining us in the studio before he goes on a big holiday, Max Gorn. Are you excited? I am. I am. Um, I thought you were calling me the Premier for a second there. Well, you can be if you, <laughs> you want. Go Melbourne. I'll go from Mayor of Melbourne with Cooter. Yeah. Well, after I mean, that'd be a good transition, right? Yep. Like captain the Melbourne Football Club to captain of Melbourne. Yeah. I could always see the campaign. I'd, <laughs> help, I'd help run it for you. To I be think honest. I'd end up like Mel Meninga, to be honest. I reckon, oh, I'd, no. I reckon I'd walk out pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be one question about current affairs. So I'm just, uh. And Bill Brownless, he was the same? Yeah, Bill's was, he at least tried to answer the questions mm. and then... He quit failed. and then failed yeah. miserably when Mel just said, no, this, I'm this out. isn't me. <laughs> yeah, Bill was like, you know what? I, is there a career where I could fail to answer questions <laughs> on a daily basis oh, where I'd be he, rewarded for that? And the rush hour was born. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you've asked him, but I'd love to know who gave him the advice to run for it, Bill. Oh, he has said. Let me think. I think you might have been the, Jeff Kennett or somebody high up in the Liberal Party at the time. And the great thing about Bill is he is – so charismatic and beloved by the people. You yeah. can imagine what the thinking was behind it. Like, mm. you know, he's the king of that area of yeah. the world. Like he'd be a really popular yeah. leader. I think people <laughs> would really warm to him. He does have some business interests and acumen. Like, you know, you, yeah. you could make a compelling sort of case. Yeah. yeah. They just clearly hadn't heard him talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you can call constituents <laughs> cocker. <Yeah. either. laughs> The brief would have been, we just need you to be the face. You won't yeah. answer any questions. It's okay. Yeah. Then literally day walked one. out oh, day shit. one. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> separation of powers no really question. got him. <laughs> Friday here at Melbourne's Triple M. Rosie, Will, Daisy Thomas on holidays. Jack Heverin is here. And Max Gorn, you're with us. I about am. to uh, go on holidays. You look very excited. I am. Yes. I go to, uh, I go up north tomorrow. Uh, what day is it? Yeah, tomorrow. I go up north tomorrow. I'm driving. And then uh, I've got a cycling trip a little bit later on in the month, which is exciting as well. I mean, we're very excited for you. But obviously, firstly, the yeah. best and fairest mm. tonight. Yes. Um, I reckon you're going to win. Is that Thank a, you. A, do you do, so are you prepared to win? Have you like written a little speech just in case you win? Uh, I don't like to write speeches per se. I've won um, a couple of times. I feel like I can get up there and sort of wing a speech. Mm -hmm. um, you just got to make sure you thank the right people and... Um, well, the good news is that no best and fairest speeches are being reported widely in the media. <laughs> so no, you got to be clear. No, there's be no, there's gonna, after last year, there's going to be no focus on comments made at the Melbourne best and fairest, yeah. I imagine. I mean, if there's stuff getting out about St Kilda wrestling and Western Bulldogs best and fairest, <laughs> yeah. I dare say the Melbourne one is going to be tightly watched. Thanks, Stephen May, for last year. Mm -hmm. um, no, look, I, um, I'm excited to go. There'll be, there'll be a few of us that um, are a chance. Uh, Alex Neil Bullen's had a great year. Jack Viney has had a great year every year he's played football. Um, Ed Langdon, I mm. reckon, is a little surprise packet. His okay. consistency out on the wing. Um, and then Trent Rivers obviously got into the, the midfield late. Um, tra I mean, Track, you saw what he was doing at Brownlow night. He was leading at the halfway mark almost. So he's, he's going to be tough to catch. Uh, best and fairest, a little bit easier to catch people that don't play games because there's votes in every game. But um, he'll probably be a long way in front at the halfway mark. Now, obviously, I mean, I hate that every time you come in here, we have to talk about something yes. that's in the news, but Clayton Oliver's back in the news around like some draft talk and, you know, ob there obviously there was a visit to Reese Stanley's farm, which wouldn't seem to me like the most compelling way to get me to go to Geelong, but yep. anyway, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that has been in the news that maybe there's trouble again at Melbourne and speculation around, like what happens to your week when... This is in the news. Do you have to get involved in this? Do you have to have conversations with Clayton, with the club around like this trade speculation? Uh, yeah, we are. We're definitely in silly season. Um, and unfortunately, because we didn't play finals, we've been in silly season for a little bit now. Um, there's been a lot of news and a lot of reporting on players and moving. And um, look, I my role in this is uh, people will ask for my opinion, but I don't sit in list management and I don't want to sit in list management. Um so I, I can share my opinion, which I'm not going to share now. In fact, I'm getting a little bit annoyed about how many of our opinions are getting out. So mm. um, that is quite concerning and something that we need to address. But um, So I'll share my opinion, but in the end, list management will make the call. And there's 10, I, I, I'm not going to guess, there's 10 people that sit on list, 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 list management who um, know a whole lot more than me about creating lists to be able to win flags. So um, I'll back in their call, but I've, I have shared my opinion. But now my role is I'm I'm a captain of 45 players, um, and my my job is to put my arm around Clayton throughout this whole process, and um, that's something that I hope I'm able to do. Is that something as captain that you feel like you need to, and you don't need to share the conversation, obviously, but talk to Clayton regardless of what happens next? Yeah, I mean I've 
I can shed a light. Like I, I love Clayton the player, um, and I've told him that. But I love Clayton the person a whole lot more. So I'm going to be there no matter what, um, throughout a anything, um, good or bad. So, and I hope Clayton knows that. Um, sometimes you can think your captain's sort of involved in a few things. I'm, I promise I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm there to put my arm, arm around Clayton, um, no matter which way it goes. Thomas is on holidays. Max Gorn is with us. It's 20 past seven. A big retirement announced. Un well, we sort of had heard a leak, but mm. it's not, it's not you, Max, right? <laughs> Last night. <laughs> it's a nice sell. I'm really worried who it is. Who is it? It's not you? No, Joe not Danaher. Me. Joe. Big Joe. Yes. Say it ain't so, Joe, but he has said it is so. So the Ocean Shores operator <laughs> has decided he doesn't want to drive over the border anymore and go to training. At the How do you feel about this? What's your take on Joe? He's 30 years old. Million dollar contract for next year. Just won a premiership. Peak of his powers, you would say. Dominated both grand finals. The yep. one they lost last year and the, mm. the, the it could have been the Norm Smith if he kicked straight this year. Like an incredible player, and he's just walking away from the game. What's your What's your thoughts? I um uh, a previous breakfast show on this on this network, the Marty the Marty Sheegold show. I was um I used to do a top five. Yes, and I did a top. I enjoyed them very much. I, I did a top five favorite players, and Joe was number two. He is, he's right up there. And peak Joe, so last year of Essendon is probably my favourite Joe when he's taking like contested marks for fun and kicking barrels from 80. Brisbane Joe, I sort of, he just went over to Brisbane and I saw him less. Um, but the last couple of years has been, yeah, I'm, I'm a big Joe fan. Me I'm too. A, everything he's all about. Um, even the fact that he can walk away from a contract and so Joe, go focus. This on is his the life. thing that yeah. I both hate and love about this because I want him to keep playing because I love Joe. But this is the most Joe move of all time. And yep. if you love Joe for being Joe, you've got to love him for this as well. Correct. I just love the fact that he takes a mark on the wing and he genuinely yeah. thinks he can make it. <laughs> <I can see laughs> <this. laughs> and he takes a mark 15 metres out straight in front and he's like, ooh. Oh, I should snap <laughs> this. I should snap this. I'm, 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 I'm in a bit of trouble. I just, and also, unbelievable reporting, whoever managed to nail this. Because I dare say Joe... Fagan and Joe's family, the only ones that sort of know this leading into the granny. And well, it's managed I'm, to... I'm actually not sure that's true because the stories seem to be coming out, Jack, that he said to Fagan after last year's grand final, if they'd won, he was going to retire then. So, he's, so, so it's been on the cards yes. for 12 months. But it really started, we talked this earlier, it really mm. started with BT. Yeah. BT was the first one to kind of throw it out in the ether on Thursday, I think, on I mean, Adelaide Radio. He could have told us, but Adelaide <laughs> Radio. Yeah. And then by the, by Friday, it sort of people had started to work it out. But yeah, he, how he managed to get that, because you're right, there would have yeah. been only a few people that knew. Yeah, and then it also, BT alluded to it was going to happen like as he got his medal. Yeah. Mm. It's now Friday <laughs> and it's happened. It's less of, it's a bit of an anti-climax how it's happened but um no I, again best and fairest stuff getting leaked i managed to watch the best and fairest video of joe retiring and then the, the, i almost shed a tear yeah it's great to watch it's that You'll time be of missed, year joe. isn't it yeah i mean he could still come back have a year off just to be come clear back. you're definitely not retiring no not me this year that's good no. news going to brisbane going to brisbane <laughs> 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 on holiday North Rosie, Will, Daisy Thomas on holidays. Jack Heron is with us. And the captain of the Melbourne Demons, Max Gorn. Uh, big grand finals. Yes. Sunday night. You yep. can hear it. Triple M rocks the NRL grand final from six o'clock. Storm and Penrith. So do you have much to do with the Storm because you're kind of... Um, we're in the same building. Stable mates. Yeah, yeah we're in the same yeah. building. We have a fair bit to do with the Storm boys. Uh, we all go for Storm. Um, some of them, they sort of, they've got 10 teams to pick down here. Cause oh, yeah. So it's pretty easy for us to all go for Storm. I dare say all 10 <laughs> AFL teams go for Storm yeah. mm -hmm. where they've got their own choice. But we've got a couple of guys that have jumped on the D's wagon. And um, yeah, they, certainly the organisation they are, we try and pick their ears a lot about some of the stuff they do and whatnot. Um, and there's been some magnificent players come from there, including mm. Smith and Slater. And now, even now, Jerome Hughes winning the... The Deli Incredible. End. And that Harker oh, that the yeah. New Zealand boys did. Yeah, yeah it's a, it, we've always had a good Kiwi group in Storm because there's like Queenslanders usually sticking the Queensland teams, New South Wales boys. So have, where's all the talent for the Storm? And they tend to get a lot of Queen, uh, a lot of Queensland and Kiwis. Um, the two Bromwich boys um, who were captain of New Zealand, I think, they're now up north uh, for who's the new team? Uh, Dolphins. The Dolphins, yeah. They're there now. But yeah, um, I'm going on a tangent, but Storm... It's a really exciting prospect. If you take out their salary cap stuff, which is hard to do because they probably, in fairness, they probably deserve what they got yeah. with the salary cap. But if you take that out, Bellamy's record is unbelievable. So 10th NRL grand final, 
22 years in charge. Now, he has said, insane, though, isn't it? he said he's going to pull the pin. Yeah, but he said that last year and yeah. then months to But he also him. said when he's 70 and he's 63. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. I still think we've got a window. But yep. if you had much to do with him, because he's regarded from the outside as being one of, he's just managed to take this team in this town that, you know, where this isn't the predominant sport yep. and make them a consistently successful franchise. Yeah, you know, and it regenerated. You know, yep. the big four, you know, we think, oh, this is like we've got these once in a generation group of players and then he goes away and he just gets together another And big without four. any help from the press north of Victoria oh, too. I like mean, they, they hate openly hate the everything yeah. to do with it. What they do do really well is their under twenty three program. So similar to our sort of eighteen to twenty two year olds that are coming through, but they ours are on our list and we're trying to develop them. Where theirs aren't on their list, they have their own sort of program, like a VFL kind of, but that's for under twenty threes. And the, their program around that is unbelievable where um, they, a lot of people like quit or they struggle because you've got to work. Uh, it's like a part-time job as well as part-time be a storm under 23 player. And literally anyone that gets to the end, they sort of give a contract to. So they're getting these magnificent people mm. through the end, talents aside. So they're always picking character over talent. But speaking of working, doesn't, isn't there even a thing where Bellamy, like new players have to go and work? A yep. real job yeah. for the first week when they come down because that's part of the just to remind you of what the real world is like. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff that happens at Storm and um, I'm glad I'm able to share a building with them. Um, sometimes embarrassed because they're constantly just playing footy in September and every now and then we're not in September and it's like they're just looking at us going, huh. But then we <laughs> come, come and watch this. Yeah. <laughs> We've got victory and victory uh, yep. there as well, Melbourne victory. And yep. they, they, were, they were really good for the first sort of five, ten years of their existence as well. And that was almost at the time where we were – 2012 demons where we were down the bottom every time we got victory and storm oh. just at the top of their sport <laughs> we're sitting there like should we be in this gym <laughs> it's rubbed off yes but it's and finally we've been able to play some footy in september as well and we can share some stories and 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 um i'm really excited to watch i'm actually i'll be up north so hopefully i get to um i don't know where i'll exactly be for the game but i'll be in nrl country um so you can watch the Kid Leroy doing pregame. I'm actually a big fan of that for NRL to get Kid Leroy, and obviously their night time will make it uh, really in- interesting spectacle. Quite You'll be able to see it, won't you? Will? Yeah. Um, and but then the the Penrith side of things, yeah. like that's an amazing story. Yeah, incredible, well, right? To be able to, um, I don't think I'm in AFL or NRL history anyone's forpeated. I could be wrong. Uh, there was a Collingwood. Wasn't there Collingwood in the yeah. 27 to? 31, maybe. So, but in the last, yeah, anyway, I wasn't in there about for that. No one was. Yeah, yeah. That's VFL, anyway. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Max Gorn, thank you very much for your time. Thank uh, you. You are about to head off on various trips. Various Have trips. Have the best time, and we'll see you back here for Spring Carnival. Yes, I was, uh, no doubt I'll be in the Herald Sun holding a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Oaks Day. It's a great day. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll be there. You and Ariane Titmus next yeah, to each other. Yeah, in a horse. Uh, see you in a few weeks. See Thanks, Maxie. Thanks.